Uh, Second City TV is a comedy show which uh, emanates in Toronto, Canada, and for a while it was being done out of Edmonton, uh, Canada, I believe. Uh, it's a terrific show, and it's uh, on every Friday evening at 12.30 here at NBC, and perhaps one of the uh, uh, fastest, uh, most... Uh, 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 well, I'm lost here. Let me just start over. <laughs> quickly becoming one of the most popular comedy programs on the air without a siren. The magic, the magic of SCTV is attributed to the fine writing and performing. That's certainly the truth. Uh, two of those folks are with us tonight, John Candy and Joe Flaherty. I see you gentlemen to be here. I'm, I'm uh, desperately sorry that I botched your introduction. What I was sorry. trying to say is uh, this is a show that uh, I have been a big fan of for a long, long time before it moved to uh, uh, NBC, and uh, the little remark there in the uh, opening uh, about it being a perfect match of great writing and great performing, I think, is uh, the hallmark of that show, and uh, you folks should be congratulated on that. Tell oh. us about yourselves, eh, as they say. <laughs> uh, Joe, Toronto. you are from originally not Canada, somewhere else, or yeah, from Pittsburgh. Canada? I'm yeah. from Pittsburgh, PA, and... Uh... That's it? <laughs> Come on, Pittsburgh. Uh, how did you get involved with the, the, the Canadians from uh, Pittsburgh? Well, I went uh, up to Canada to work with the theater company, the SCTV. No, it was uh, Second City. Second mm -hmm. City Cabaret. And we wanted to open a theater up there, so we went up and uh, cast some people. Very good people up there. And I was surprised to see the talent uh, just sort of floating around in Toronto. Matter of fact, Paul Schaefer, your musical mm -hmm. director, was up there at the time doing yeah. Godspell. Hello, Paul, yeah. how are you? Yes. See you again. <laughs> uh, shut up. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we cast uh, John and Eugene Levy and uh, um, let's see who else was up there at the time. Gilda Radner and Danny Aykroyd. That was they were in the original stage show. Yeah. So uh, from there it was. What is geez. what is SCTV or S uh, Second City? What is that for people who don't may not really know what the organization is out of Chicago? No, want me to say it? Sure, John, why don't you try one of these? <laughs> oh, okay, that's a tough one, though. Uh, Second City started in Chicago in 1959. It was originally uh, came out of the University of Chicago when it was the West Compass Players. It was uh, the University of Chicago didn't have a theater department, and they created their own, and they being uh, Elaine May, Mike Nichols, Severin Darden, Del Close, Bernie Sollins, uh, Sheldon Patankin. There was a lot of people who, uh, I think Ed Asner was, was Part of that, Shelley Berman, Harry Truman. Harry yeah. Truman was part of that. <laughs> he had great stuff. A lot. Oh, he, he was, was funny. The yeah. blackouts he came up with. Oh. <laughs> Little known fact about him: the group scenes that he did, you know, were very risque at the time. Oh, is that and, right? Uh, he was very, very, very funny man. What, what was the? Uh, what's the? the Learned a lot from him. <laughs> uh, what was the? In fact, some said that you were the next Harry Truman for a while. Yes, they did yeah. for a long time. And, uh, <laughs> It's been a curse on my back. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I've been yeah. trying to change that. I've been trying to change that, but damn it, you can't sometimes. No, no, I know. People won't get off, you know? Yeah. Uh, what, is, what, what does a Second City refer to? What was the... What does that mean, Second City? What, uh, it was an article, I think, in the uh, New York Times, wasn't it? There were, uh, uh, New Yorker magazine. New Yorker magazine yeah. uh, saying Chicago was second to New York in everything, mm -hmm. uh, in every way. Which I don't know if everyone believes that or not. Chicago's a fine town. <laughs> it Toronto is, a fine, is town. a fine town also, where yes. you guys are now doing yeah. the show. Pittsburgh's a fine town. I Pittsburgh know. is all right, too. <laughs> Didn't get a huge response. <laughs> what about Monterey? Monterey. Beautiful place. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Now, when you were Queensville, doing... another place where I'm from. Queensville? Mm -hmm. And this is uh, in Ontario, yeah. outside of Toronto? Yeah. Uh, tell me about doing the show from... <laughs> no one? No one from Queensville? <laughs> tell me about doing the show from Edmonton. Is this, is this well, what we, the last cycle of shows came out of there? Yeah, we're notorious for uh, selling out to the lowest bidder, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we ended up there. Now, how does that no, happen? No, this is a major no, network television extravaganza, and they're doing it in Edmonton, a city of how big? Oh, geez, it's uh, 800,000 people now. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's growing every day. It's, it's a big city. <laughs> it's Boomtown. <laughs> Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> SCTV was the, the last season of shows produced in uh, Edmonton. Yeah. Now, uh, again, that's not really Los Angeles or New York or any of the cities that we mentioned. Uh, how did it end up there, and what was it like doing it there? One Either of the one of you guys. One, or of you the, one of the owners of the show. Uh, our show is like the, the movie The Producers. Uh, <laughs> kind of a tax deal? <laughs> a number of... Number of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm being bitter. <laughs> <laughs> didn't come through with that per diem. <laughs> I can say that now. My lawyers talk to me. I'm clear. 
One of the owners, Dr. Allard, owns a TV studio in Edmonton, mm -hmm. and uh, as a result, that's where we did the show. It was his, it was his, <laughs> his studio. That's where we worked. Yeah. It was it a, a nice, uh, enormous yeah. complex. Not an no, enormous no, complex. It's, it's, it's nice. very small, tiny little place. Mm -hmm. The the staff and crew there were great, and yeah. the director there, yeah. uh, John Blanchard, incidentally, who shot who shoots all of our stuff. He's, he's really good. The show looks terrific. Yes. You would not guess that it comes out of anything uh, less than a first-rate no, operation. The city takes a bad rap, you know, but it's a real nice city, and uh, there's good people there. Yeah. Everybody was working real hard any, on the show. Any problems with doing a show out of Edmonton? Uh, getting people there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were begging a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. The technology in Edmonton is okay? Uh, well, yeah. for the, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's a very modern city. It's, it's a boom town. It's, it's just sprung up. It's, there's oil there, mm -hmm. you know, so... Uh, they got color TV last year. <laughs> That's real nice. <laughs> what about the control room? Do you ever have any trouble with the... Uh... With the control room? Jeez, no, not really. You know, there was some... Uh... <laughs> Was, was that on one of those? I don't know. Ah, oh, the control room. <laughs> we copied these and distributed them to the audience and our guests. Yeah. And uh, there was, uh, you never had trouble with uh, uh, hockey coverage? Uh, oh, on Wednesdays. Yeah, there you on go. Wednesdays. <laughs> you should, should have just said hockey. I was, oh, hockey was I the I know, that was huh? my cue, hockey. Okay. It was the Edmonton Oilers. Our crew would leave on Wednesdays <laughs> to cover their game. Oh, yeah. So we were, we would just kind of hang around. <clears throat> And we'd wait till they got back, and then we'd shoot some more. Okay. <laughs> I love your show. <laughs> there are seven people performing on the show. Yeah. Do you people write most of the material that you perform? A lot of it. Yeah, not all of it. We do have writers that help. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it would be impossible, I think, to write and perform a 90-minute show yeah. every week. Do you, do you write things exclusively for yourself, or will you write something for John and vice versa? Or? Yeah, we, um, we write pretty much for everybody, you know. Um, it's, that's the good thing about it, is I can write a scene for John because I've worked with him so long, yeah. and he, vice versa. Yeah. Although, is there a, a pretty good relationship up there? Fist fights now, or are people uh, no, grabbing a, hair? a knife every now and then, but really, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nothing really, you know.